Tom Davis at training a week before the first game after Christmas. Uh, Tom, how, how are you feeling about preparations uh, leading up to the second half of the season? Yeah, really good. I think, you know, as we kind of came to the end of the year, as we kind of hit the start of that Christmas period, I think it was really well needed. I think that's shown with the way that we play that Chesham game. I think we're kind of quite lucky to come through that. Not that we potentially didn't deserve it, but I think we were quite lucky in the, in the manner, in the way we played, in, in the manner we took the game. The break was definitely needed and I think we've come back where, you know, everyone's a lot happier, everyone's kind of well rested and, and we've kind of come back in with that emphasis, you know, at the end of the year we played a lot of games and it was week to week and, and there was COVID stuff going on, so the break's done us really well, we've come back in and obviously with new signings as well, everyone's kind of flying around a little bit at the moment, so it's really nice and we're kind of just itching at the bit now, it's the first time we've not played and other teams have. So we're kind of itching a bit now to get started and, and to get back into, into competitive football. And just looking back quickly, you mentioned so many games in a short space of time before Christmas. Uh, you must be really pleased with considering the like, challenges that were on the team that they came out of that with so many good results and sit at the top of the league by five points. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the league's a league. You know, there's, there's teams that have got to play each other still. There's teams that have got to play other games. So we don't look into it like that too much at the moment. However, you know, we're, we're really pleased. I think the way we started the campaign in terms of the results we got when we, you know, we were really struggling with players and, and kind of getting our way in through injuries and through COVID, that was a really important time. And, and similarly, like you said, towards the end of the year, you know, like I said, we were tired, you know, there's COVID issues going on. Same for everybody, but I think it just kind of took its toll on us with the amount of games that we played. So, like I said, we're really happy that we've had that break and everyone's come back in really refreshed. We had a light sort of Christmas programme in terms of what we sent out, but it was needed. Um, and yeah, we're back in now, we're, we're fresh, we're fit and, and we're looking to get started. And you mentioned the new signings, Holly Reid and Emma and coming in this week. Uh, how exciting is it to have them at the club? Very. You know, Dan and I sort of sat down after that Cheshire game and, and within the Christmas period and we outlined where we felt we need to strengthen both in terms of quality and in depth. Set in the field um, to bring in those players, obviously losing um, Kate to, to her duties and Annabelle's still not 100% fit yet. We need to make sure we brought in the right person and we spoke about Holly in pre-season and, and to bring her in we were really delighted. Em was someone that kind of came out of the blue a little bit but again you know phenomenally delighted to bring in someone of Em's quality, someone that I've worked with previously, someone that I know you know what she's going to bring to the table um, both kind of on and off the pitch. So really happy to get both, really happy to bring that quality and that depth and um, really happy to kick on to, to move forward now. Um, just looking ahead to the second half of the season, there's going to be a lot of big games. Um, how confident are you that the team can like handle the pressure and go and like, uh, win promotion, essentially? <laughs> we just got to take it game by game. That's what the players have been doing. Obviously, as a management staff, we look ahead to the next few. We're still in the play as well, which is a big competition. And, and obviously, Exeter are a fantastic side and been on a brilliant run as well. So that's going to be a really interesting game. But we'll just take each game as it comes. You know, each game is going to be one of those sort of six pointers. Each, you know, teams have got to play each other. You know, Exeter have got to play Bournemouth. You know, Chesham and, and Southampton. And you know, there's those teams that are in and around it. Southampton women's have still got to play a number of teams, and we've still got to play all of them. So you know, we could, you know, put ourselves in a fantastic position. It's still in our hands, like it is other teams, and that's important for us. We've got to look at the next game. We've got to go and prepare for that correctly, because if we don't do that, then those games kind of become a little bit null and void. So it's really important that we focus on what's in front of us, try and beat what's in front of us as well. And just in terms of the new signings as well, a little bit of squad depth, um, that must reassure you a little bit that if we were to get a couple of injuries that we can still pick up results and we've still got a couple of extra bodies in there. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, you know, the start of the season is quite difficult. You know, We're bringing in one or two people that weren't necessarily fit in, into the squad. We're bringing in one or two development team players who've stepped up fantastically. But now we've got kind of a squad that we're happy with. You know, th those players are going to come in. The first games we've got are Thursday, Sunday. So, for no you know, we've got to rotate straight away to make sure we've got fresh legs, to make sure that players are playing at their maximum. So, the players are fit, but to have that depth, to have that quality and depth as well is really important. So, we're looking forward to having that squad. We're looking forward to sort of finding a bit of a groove with those competitive games. And we're looking forward to getting started and, and seeing what we can achieve. And just a quick look ahead to the Swindon game next Thursday, first game back. Um, one all draw of them at the start of the season. Um, what, what are you expecting from that game next week? We're expecting a really tough game. I've, you know, I've been involved in a couple of games with Swindon so far. Um, I've been part of this club and they've always been tight games. They've always been interesting games. They've always been half court games and, and it's a derby game. So, you know, anything can happen. We know that, you know, the first game when we play them this season, that, you know, first half we weren't brilliant, although we scored that goal and obviously they equalised. The second half we were very dominant. We should have kind of finished off and we didn't. And, and that's credit to the way Swindon defending. It's the, the threat that they have on the counter-attack and the players that have in those areas. So, you know, we're prepared for it as much as we can do. So we've got an eye on them. We've got an eye on 
and Lark will lose play afterwards as well. So we've got to make sure that as a group we're prepared and we go and approach it as professionally as possible. Go and play the team that's in front of us and not try and play the occasion so much with it being a, a derby game and a away game and a game under the light. So we'll go and prepare for the game, we'll go and play the game and, and hopefully come up with positive results. Great, right, so it's time. Thanks,